As a network or security engineer, your role is to keep your FortiGate systems up to date. And by up to date, I mean have installed the latest FortiOS release on it. And if your FortiGate has direct internet access, well, that's easy, right? Uh, all you have to do is to check what is the latest release directly on Fortinet. But in scenarios where your FortiGate doesn't have internet access, what is the solution? What are the options available? Well, in this case, you would have to perform a manual upgrade or upgrade offline. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So I'm going to walk you through the process of upgrading a FortiGate device uh, from version 7.0.13 to 7.0.14. At the time of this recording, there are more recent uh, uh, releases, but this is going to be enough for you to have an understanding on how to upgrade a FortiGate appliance or even FortiGate VM. Okay, so let's check it out. Before we start the upgrade process, you might want to take a look at the administration guide for your specific FortiOS version. In my case, this is the administration guide for FortiOS 7013, and it outlines a couple of steps that guide through the upgrade process and also some of the requirements that you should meet before starting this process, such as uh, having a console cable in case you are upgrading uh, FortiGate appliance so that in case something happens based at the IP level, you should have at least direct access to your FortiGate appliance and also a USB flash disk uh, that you can use to copy the running firmware on your FortiGate and so that something happens after the upgrade process, you should be able to use that USB disk to revert to the previous firmware version, okay? So best practice to keep in hand, especially if you plan to do this on a production environment, okay? Now, I'm not going to read all this, you can read by yourself, but essentially that's what it's saying. So what do we want to know before starting the upgrade is to know if the version we're going to upgrade to uh, what are the paths or the steps that we have to take so for instance uh, let's take a look at this page so upgrade paths in my case uh, my 40 gate is 201 e i'm just going to type 201 e and at this moment is running the version 7013 so it should be 7013M, 7013M. And as I said, I want to upgrade to 7014. So we can perform a direct upgrade, as you can see. So currently 7013 uh, has the build number 0566, and I can directly upgrade to 7014 to this build number 0601. Okay, so now we can go to Fortinet support and download this version. Okay, so here on the Fortinet support webpage, we're going to log in and provide our credentials. Now, I gotta warn you that in order to download the latest uh, software image, the firmware, you must have a contract assigned to your account, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to support and download firmware download. And here I'm going to select, uh, it's already the product is FortiGate. And then I'm going to click on this tab, download, okay? Now, because the, the account I'm using is not eligible uh, to download, I'm going to use another one so I can select the right firmware uh, to upgrade the FortiGate. Okay, the download is complete. So now let's upgrade that file into FortiGate. And this is my FortiGate. And as you can see right now has the version 7013 build 0566 mature. So I'm going to upload the file. So file upload and I'm going to browse to the image and it should be FortiGate 7014. Okay, and I'm going to confirm and backup. So you're going to prompt with this warning. So upgrading the firmware will cause the system to reboot. Are you sure to continue? Yes, I am. So we're going to continue. And so first it's going to uh, download also the configuration file so that in case something happens, we have uh, a way to revert back to the latest uh, non-good configuration. Okay, so now the system is going to reboot. It might take... Uh, two or three minutes it is up to date well because this FortiGate doesn't have uh, internet access but the current FortiGate version is 7014 
uh, build 0601 mature. So it was upgraded successfully. And you can replicate this process to any other version in case I wanted to downgrade and that's the reverse process of upgrading. So install to a previous version, I could just follow the same steps and the outcome or the result would be the same. So if you want to dive deeper into FortiGate configuration, I have a playlist right here on the channel and it should be somewhere here on the screen. And if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.